We're here at Fort Benning, Georgia, around the campus of the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. Here with Sergeant First Class Josh Olson. Josh, you are the first active duty soldier to qualify for the Paralympics. Congratulations on that. Thanks for coming here on NRA News. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What does that mean to you? Uh, to be the first combat wounded active duty Paralympic soldier uh, to be nominated to the Paralympics, um, to me, uh, means a culmination of a lot of hard work of a lot of people other than myself to be here, and I just want to make him proud. Did were you a member of the unit before your your injury? No, I wasn't. I did not get assigned to the unit until after my injury. I was wounded October 27, 2003, and I was assigned to the unit in June of 2005. What is it like to be part of this unit? I mean, you know, we, we've been here all day with you guys and just the camaraderie and the fun, but it's also a lot of business, it's a lot of work and a lot of practice. So what is a typical day like for you? I usually get to work about um, around uh, 06, 30, 7 o'clock, start training. Uh, we train till about noon, uh, break for lunch, come back. I do some more training in the afternoon, do maintenance on our, um, on our uh, rifles and whatnot, and then uh, go do PT and head to the house. Do you feel that it's incumbent on you now to be an inspiration to others who are combat wounded or just wounded, um, even non-combat related, to get out there, to get, uh, you know, not to be a member of, a, of an Olympic team, but just to get out there and enjoy life and, and, and do sports and, 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 just, and just be out and be more active? Um, it, it's very important if you, you know, face any kind of thing in your life, whether it be an injury or um, loss of a family member or anything like that, to you know, look at it as if one door closes, another one's going to be open somewhere. You just got to continue to search and um, embrace uh, the situation when it does happen. Has this, has being a member of this team helped you heal? Uh, absolutely. Gives me a reason to get out of bed every day. It gives me, um, you know, a sense that it's, uh, I'm still a soldier. I'm still able to, uh, uh, to lead soldiers here at the unit. Um, still able to uh, pass on the, my knowledge um, that I've taken from previous deployments and pass on to soldiers when we do our uh, instruction. So it's uh, a blessing and it's, you know, gives me, um, makes me very proud to be here. Now tell us about your event and tell us what you're going to be doing over in London. Uh, I shoot two different events, uh, air rifle prone, shot at 10 meters with an air rifle, and I shoot 50 meter prone, which is shot with a small bore rifle or a 22 caliber. And have you scouted out the competition? Do you, do you know who you're up against when you get there? Yeah, um, I've been competing against these guys for the last seven years. So it's, um, you know, it's not just another match shooting against them because everybody's going to be on top of their game. Everybody's going to be ready to go. And um, I'm looking really forward to performing well at the games. What is it like um, to, you know, you're, you represent the U.S. Army, but you also represent the USA shooting team. You represent the United States on a, on a double, extra level, I guess you would say. You know, when you get over there, what's it going to feel like, do you think? Um, it, it's going to be a, uh, a great experience and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be something like I've never uh, experienced before in my life. Um, you know, people are like, oh, you've been in combat, you can deal with competition shooting and it's two different things, um, two different animals. So, um, you know, I've, I've shot in two different world championships now. So it's, it's going to be that times 10, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck. We thank you for your service to our country and thanks for your time here on NRA News. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.